Hi guys, uh, good morning. Uh, welcome to the first class of SQL Server. It's a MS Microsoft SQL Server DBA online training. So only on weekends, not on weekdays. So it's a little bit fast track, not fully fast track. Theoretically, I'll try to avoid the lot of time. Practically, I'll show you to the everything is as a practicals. Okay, uh, let me start our course content. Here you go. So guys, yesterday you faced uh, some issues in my voice. I think uh, today, I don't think there won't be any issue until if I have my Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, if power is goes off, then I'll connect to my mobile. If power is there, then definitely my wife will keep working. My Wi-Fi, wi -fi, sorry. My Wi-Fi. Okay, making sense guys? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So today I'm going to discuss about types of different types of SQL servers and editions. And also while I'm practicing on it, while I'm explaining you people, I'll, re I'll tell you what are all the internal questions as well. So you just need to remember those points. Otherwise, if you're not remembering also, you don't need to worry about it. So I'm going to prepare one document and I'm going to share it to you. No problem at all. Okay. Okay, so before that, if you know, you can tell me about versions and editions. If you know, if you can tell me, guys, no issues. Okay. First, let me talk about editions. Editions of SQL Server. Normally, the full name is SQL, but some people unable to pronounce that. They are calling it as a SQL. Okay. There is no difference between SQL and SQL. So don't get Confused guys, there is no difference. Okay. First one is express. Second one is web. Third one is standard. Fourth one is enterprise. Maybe don't mind if my spelling is not correct. Just try to understand that's it. Okay. okay. Come on. Guys, I hope you can see my screen. Yes, we can. Okay. So now let's talk about Express. Express is one of the edition which is available in all versions. So it's a free it's a free edition. You don't need to pay for anything. Now duration is six months. Another thing is you cannot you cannot create any database which is more than 10 GB size. Which is more than 10 GB size. It's a free guys, duration is six months validity and also agent service will not be available. Agent service will be not available in this and log shipping is not possible. Okay. Mirroring is not possible because it's a free, very less. Mirroring is not possible. Always on AGL. I'll, call, I'll mention it as always on. AOG, always on group. Now clustering is not possible. Only just you can create one database which is less than 10 GB and you can test on it. That's it. Okay, this is a free. Now, in inter question, what is the difference between express and standard? What is the difference between express and standard? Please listen carefully. This is mainly for non-production. This is mainly for non-prod. 
because there is no security there is no guarantee there is no assistance from microsoft for the express edition next one is web application this edition is between this edition is between your express and standard okay this web web edition is between your express and your standard it has features that you can host web applications okay that only can provide that only can provide scalability manageability for the small scale of applications for the small scale of applications you cannot again it's a matter of it's again it's a web web application is you no know, little cost web edition is little cost i'm going to provide it here for small scale applications here which applications web applications you cannot you cannot go ahead and launch all the like highly developed applications that's not possible highly developed applications you cannot host it only small scale applications and less features okay less features another thing is uh, it's mainly mainly web is going to going to offer or provide you going to offer you most of the cases like scalability consistency also consistency etc etc okay this is the most important you need to keep in mind this is not free guys next one is standard so standard is like for production here for example you have minimal minimal features like you can work on eg always on you can implement on log shipping mirroring also will work mirroring and the clustering also it will work but not not fully fully compatible full kind of clustering so only the minimal features you can use clusters is spelling wrong never mind about it clustering okay okay etc etc now one more thing is standard is mainly for production you can use now what about the pricing now just imagine if your standard version is thousand dollars for single core processor single core processor what about enterprise enterprise i hope you guys know it is all production 100% of features will be available in this this is costly now just imagine this is for production not full features not minimal full features everything you will get it encryption also available here database encryption okay ha ha means high availability disaster recoveries okay everything is available now imagine guys if the price of standard is 1000 dollars what will be the price of enterprise it may go around 1500 dollars 1500 dollars 1500 dollars okay this this is normally we can call it as 1500 in india i don't know how you people call it in i mean australia or in us but in india we will call it as 1500 dollars or similar kind of 1500 dollars so now feel the difference what is the price here and what is the price in standard this is only i'm talking about single core processor i have license only for single core processor not for multi core processor guys is it making sense one one more thing unlimited virtualization here unlimited you can host anything you can deploy any feature you can use any feature unlimited unlimited virtualization virtualization and another thing is high service also if something is wrong high service level levels of uh, critical workload critical workload that means your application workload okay i'll drag and put it here see guys unlimited i mentioned here i hope you are understanding it is making sense 
someone please open your mouth every project will be utilizing yeah. every every project will be utilizing enterprise only now enter the question is two enter the questions will be here one is how many editions are available in sql server can anybody tell me the answer how many editions of sql server The last one is developer. This edition has all the features, all the features, features like encryption, decrypt. I'll mention in shortcut decrypt underscore. Okay, let it be decrypt. You understand, right? All H A D R S. Every feature similar kind of enterprise only, but but it's not recommendable for it's not recommendable for production for production boxes for production applications okay guys are you understanding please let me know if it if you want it in different way i'll teach in different way so now in interview question what are all the editions available now one more thing one more thing in your real time project nobody knows about this nobody knows about these editions who needs to explain to your production or product team who will go and purchase the license key cfo in your company there will be one cfo they will go and communicate with microsoft about their license key and their subscription not micro sorry microsoft microsoft team because sql server is a microsoft product you guys know pretty well so your cfo will go and directly deal with your uh, company pro i mean your what are the project products like sql is the microsoft product your cfo company will go ahead and they will discuss with the microsoft about license and subscription so who who want to know about these editions you have to know about these editions you have to talk with your cfo okay you need to differentiate now your cfo will definitely ask you one question what is that question is which license key we required definitely she will ask you she or he will ask you what you need to do you need to explain them clearly what is the difference between each edition which one we can go ahead and which one we can purchase it okay now you need to different she will definitely ask you here to only 10000 uh, where it is called as uh, okay here can you see not 10000 1000 sorry guys only 1000 dollar price here whatever i am drawing round around circle here only standard is Hundred dollars, but here fifteen hundred dollars. So which one we want? You need to explain them what is the difference between each editions. Otherwise, she will wrap up you and she'll ask you he don't know anything and he may escalate. She she or he may escalate it and something will be goes wrong. So you need to explain here minimal features. Everything cannot be possible, but here full features. Enterprise is the heart of production. Every feature whatever they are providing will be available in. enterprise edition okay everything is possible developer also has all the features like encryption high availability disaster recoveries agent service integration service analysis service reporting service everything you'll get it everything you'll get it but it's not highly recommendable for production boxes this is only for developing your applications only for developers guys is it making sense only for developers only for developers no more else if you if yeah you... yeah giri how about uh, uh, the tools the sql server studio or any any tools you yeah, yeah, get from uh, definitely and, definitely, and, tell you, and, definitely yeah. tell you that i'll teach you yeah. next time i go to the versions right now only i'm in the edition part i'll teach you in editions in editions i'll teach okay. you okay now here one more Fine. thing configuration is one of the default tool it will come for the setup file configuration s sql server config file config if you want i'll show it to you later can you see this is also one kind of tool config not file this is tool configuration tool sorry okay configuration tool it will be available in all edi all editions by default you will get it okay i want to teach this point in versions 
but you asked me that is why i'm teaching can you see what is uh, configuration manager can you see it here configuration manager can you see my screen guys i want response from both of you then only i can go ahead and i can teach yes. you what does it mean yeah. that means you guys are actively listening so that i can go ahead and i can teach you in middle i'll yes, keep yes. asking you in middle i'll keep asking you some questions okay now two questions inter questions one is what is the difference between express edition and enterprise edition you guys need to say the answer and what are all the editions are available in sql server these are all the most important editions you need to there are some other editions also like business intelligence artificial intelligence those editions are not for us those are all like uh, ba reporting power bi guys ms bi guys for them analyticals generating reports customer presentations for them it is for us for db guys those are all not required making sense can i go to another one uh, again yeah. i have a question yeah yes yeah, please go ahead please go ahead so uh, see like if i like if my production is running on enterprise okay so so is it possible that uh, if i test my application on developer and then deploy it on the enterprise i mean yeah that is that, that is make a difference our, that is what our duty so what i'm going to do is blindly you will not go ahead and you will not you will not take the you will not purchase the enterprise first what you need to do you need to develop your application on qa environment right and then you should assign to that developer or qa this one we can call it as qa also mm -hmm. here i can call it as normal official name is developer edition but we can call it as qa also quality analyst mm -hmm. check quality analyst check right first you need to develop mm -hmm. your application you need to test it in developer environment if you get a green signal for your application then only then only you will implement go live and you will purchase the enterprise key you will you will implement into your application production that is what i am doing in my live project so what i'm going to do is month ago month one month ago i'll go with mock this is called as dry run dry run dry run that means mock or dry run both are same we need to test it previously test it test it your application test your application with application with dev dev editions okay once if you get a green mark once if you get a green mark then go and implement go live this is the first step now green mark means smooth migration smooth migration or upgrade in whatever it is smooth go if you if you got a smooth go green mark green mark green signal not mark green signal that means you can go ahead and you can implement in production now go live go live this is after one month before one month what you need to do you are testing everything here you are testing everything here making sense you are testing everything in first point every if you get if you get this smooth go green signal then only you will go and implement into your production box guys is it making sense raja did you got it yes sir okay that's fine guys so if you want it i'll keep this point otherwise i'll remove this point from this uh, pane do you want me to keep this 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 mess this one it's okay i mean it's understandable okay so anyways i'll keep yeah. somewhere okay i think this one is not required uh, we, we can skip skip this point because <clears throat> i want to teach you now uh, editions now do you have any questions on editions sorry now i want to teach you versions now i'll yeah, so, talk about versions so like for the express edition is you said it's a free yeah so it can be run the production on the express no but you will not get anything there your database in, do you think your production database size will be less than 10 gb do you really think yeah. less than 10 gb yeah it could be right it could be if it is if it is that much then your project will be having only some 10 or 20 customers it's not does not mean exactly but in production it is you cannot use that if you want it you can use no issues at all if you want it I you mean, can so use there it. is no legal obligation no there is no legal the obligation production. but again you need to you need to keep it in one thing if, if you lost something data in production microsoft is not going to guarantee because 
you did not purchase any license from them express is a free yeah. mm -hmm. if you lost some data there is no backup backup is not possible in express again i'm saying backup mm -hmm. is like only through the t sql you can take it that is also you cannot use all the options like compress option yeah. encrypt option you cannot use anything it is like it is like very basic like only uh, kind of if you go to very small hotel you will not be having anything there if you go to small hotel like basically you are from andhra right you both of people no uh, i am from himachal so oh, you are from tamil 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 background okay what about raja no i am from yeah, himachal I'm pradesh arunachal pradesh no himachal himachal oh himachal pradesh himachal. himachal yeah i know i know i know i know it is yeah, himachal pradesh what about raja raja your word, your word name is looks like kamra guy no i am from karnataka oh karnataka kannada gotta sir nimge now now kannada alli idivi ivaga okay guys just kidding okay no problem good okay no problem so in express editions so if you go to small hotel can you expect ac there very small like one tent hotel only some ragi mudda or something parotta or some less rice items but if you go to five star hotel swimming pool ac bedrooms how many features you will get it there feel the difference feel the difference reception will be lifts will be if you go to the uh, i mean the top five star hotel <coughs> Even That's fine, food. Giri. I mean, it's depend upon the requirement of the application. Yes, depends Sometimes on the requirement. You don't just need all the features, right? So, if you don't want anything, if your database size is less than uh, 10 GB, then please go ahead and implement Express. But again, I'm saying after six months, there is no notification to you. It will not notify you automatically. It will. You cannot even log in after six months. You cannot even log into your SQL Server. Everything will yeah. get removed in back back end. Yeah, that's the biggest disadvantage. Like disadvantage. That. that is what I told you. The first point is six months validity only. There is no notification at all. There is no notification at all. There is no support from Microsoft for Express Edition. There is no agent. Agent is mainly for automation. Daily we yeah, are not going to implement. Uh, and then encryption is not there. Compression is not there. <clears throat> lot of but you will get to know while you are practicing with express edition yeah but see applications are there right so it's i think more about depend upon the application right what feature they require yes that, all that's absolutely need all that that's absolutely so, you need to know what are all those uh, features is available in express edition then only you can go and recommend to your recommend to your clients yeah but see uh, it's not just dba right so as a dba you don't know application what application is requirement that is that is why we, we you guys are um, having at least weekly one meeting right with your production team products i mean we are product team product team is whoever is developing mm -hmm. whoever is developing the application normally we can call it as applications you will be having one conversation either meeting or internal conversation with your application team without application team you are not blindly implementing any features there right you agree for this point even in oracle also in oracle at least if you are not having any if you are not having any meeting with your application team at least you will be having meeting with your managers at least your application your team lead or someone else right because this is not one person decision this is not one person decision it needs to be implemented with the different team needs to be involved in this different team needs to be involved in this okay again it's a matter of project guys i don't i don't want to make you overwhelm it's like all depends on your project but as a dba guy as a dba guy you should be ready you, sh you should be knowing all the features and functionalities of the editions and versions then only you can propose then only you can propose then only you can go ahead and implement it without that nobody can help you out nobody can help you out i hope you will agree to this point as a dba guy needs to be knowing all the information about their product what are they developing it normally every every week two times i will be having meeting with my product team okay i will keep this board
here only. We do have two versions here, 2008 and 2008 R2. Okay, guys, these are the versions. Can you see versions here? SQL Server 2000. Initial one is 2000, 2005, 2008, and 2008 R2. Release 2. This is R2 means release 2. 2012, 2014, 2016, 2017, and latest one is 2019. These are the versions. Now, here, why we need to implement versions? I hope in Oracle, you people, I think it is called as 12C, something related to that. 11, 12C, 14. Am I right? In Oracle? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, guys. <clears throat> so cool. Uh, one more thing, I don't know much about Oracle, but only the basic idea I know. So I don't want to teach you an Oracle because you are the experts already. So don't need to confuse on it. So now editions, sorry, versions. So versions, in every version, you'll be having all these editions. In every version, let me draw this shape here, okay? In every version, you'll be having all these editions. In every guys, is it making sense now? In all the versions, in all the versions, you'll be you will be having all the editions. Please keep it in mind. What is the latest? Inter question is what is the latest version? 19. 19. Absolutely. So now here is the most difference. Now in every version, in every version, there are a lot of features and enhancements. There are a lot of features and enhancements. As a DBA guy, as a DBA guy, you should be, you should be aware. You should be aware each and every version and each and every edition. You don't know when you will get work on latest version at the time you should not go and search for that version at least you should be having basic idea basic idea so i'm gonna demo i mean difference between each edition now the difference mainly one more thing i would like to tell you is here till here 2008 also microsoft deprecated these versions microsoft deprecated these versions versions that means they're not providing support, no support, no support for this, like this, this edition. Now, if you want to go and purchase 2008 R2, it's not possible because they removed this product from their database. They removed from their, their domain. These products and these versions already removed, no support. Microsoft deprecated these versions. Guys, did you understand till now what I covered? Yes. Okay. So let me go. Another yes, uh, thing is another thing is 2012 and 2014. So always on is implemented from 2012. Most of, but they implemented long ago also. But very less features. Always on. Always on implemented. Only one AG. One AG means availability group and less less features and bugs also. Less features. Okay. Less features and lot of bugs lot of bugs bugs means issues guys issues bugs means issues okay now in, in in 14 in 14 synchronization and async sync and async they implemented few more features async okay like this so till here till here till here you will get everything every tool till here Till 2014, you will get tools. The tool is called as SSMS by default with executable file. Executable file means setup file, SQL Server setup file, installation media file. You'll get SSMS and also uh, configuration file also you will get it. There is also one tool, configuration tool. Okay. Till here, only Windows is compatible. Windows version, Windows OS is compatible till 2014. That is one of the beautiful available in latest versions. 
so i hope you are understanding what i'm trying to say so if you go and find out if you go and find out some of the articles in google you will get more information but i'm trying to give you the lot of information here uh, here one, one more thing you required is if you want to go with any uh, express 1 gb is ram more enough 1 gb is ram more enough but if you want to go with the latest latest versions then like limited sockets and limited less maximum number of features like that we, you can see from 2016 there are a lot of enhanced features i'll draw a diagram here one is query store query store is one of the feature is implemented fixed ag is highly available ag there is no issues at all ag now 32 always on secondary replica you can configure secondary replica 32 secondary replicas okay you can configure replicas but if you go to the older one only maximum some four five replicas that's it 32 secondary replicas you can configure now temp db will be different temp db is in different location one of the beautiful feature next one is max dop settings max dop is setting one of the feature don't get confused i'm not going to teach you what is this because that will come in the later sessions max dop settings don't ask me what is the max dop and don't ask me now that will come in the later sessions i want to just teach you what are all the differences next guys ssms you need to download it separately you need to download it separately ssms now linux also compatible linux also compatible for sql server etc etc there are lot things to discuss but this and, and also one more thing i forgot i forgot migrating to azure this is called as stretch stretch feature stretch to azure did you understand what is stretch to azure stretch to azure means migrating from on premises to azure this is one of the beautiful feature is available in in 2016 guys did you understand what is the difference between older and the latest this is interview question this is interview question okay now here there are lot of features lot of features for developers in 2019 here main thing you need to keep it in mind one is download ssms separately i am i am writing here separately these are the most important separately second one is linux oriented linux also compatible oh i'm sorry separately you need to download most four four five options is more enough to crack an interview i am giving that to you okay third one is third one is mainly stretch to azure that i told you already stretch to azure focus on this point stretch to azure that means migration from your on premises to the cloud the fourth option is call it as oh gone it's gone let me draw it here guys here interview questions i'll repeat it so this is stretch to stretch to azure azure fourth option is uh, temp db temp db will be separate separate in older older versions temp db is in middle default it will come here but you cannot install separately in temp db that is including setup file but here in 2016 2017 2019 temp db you can eight files i'm going to mention eight files you can eight files you can assign for each temp db but in older version only two files one is mdf file other one is can anybody tell me one is data file other one is can anybody tell me you are from uh, already database background right database will be having default two files can anybody tell me please so data files and temp files now uh, one more one more i i hope you know logs. that what is that the read to logs in yeah yeah the remove in that first point and tell me the last word remove that first word log files you absolutely you are right you are fantastic guy you you are right so every database will be having default file is one is data file other one is log file so temp db secondary files you can launch eight files that is one of the beautiful feature in available in 2016 from 2016 it is available but in older version you cannot you cannot okay this is one of the most beautiful 
and max dop settings i'll teach you what is max dop, max dop settings later on i don't want to focus now i don't want to focus now there are lot many guys on online indexes i hope you know what is online indexes at least some basic at least what is index you know right in oracle yeah yeah okay here online indexes in older version online indexes is not possible but latest like this they have almost almost more than 10 to 15 features which is best benefit for one more thing i forgot to tell you this is most important query store query store means everything is going to store store in query query store one there is one of one of the feature you can easily do the performance tuning by using query store but in older version queries are not storing anywhere but in latest version they implemented query store feature there is wonderful feature i loved it i given one of the demonstration demo in microsoft directly i'm the local community member i used to go every first week saturday to microsoft every week first saturday i need to go that day i may not take class for you people also every month first saturday keep it in mind guys okay next query store query store is one of the beautiful feature one of the beautiful feature if you want it you can do r and d in google if you want me to explain i'll definitely explain it is there in my course content but not now even if you ask me also i don't teach it is there in lost dead end dead end can you see query store in 2016 right now yeah. one more beautiful feature i forgot to tell you uh, eighth option is called as extra dmb what is dmb can anybody tell me not a class it is called as dmb i think okay these are the most important guys now inter questions are what are all the versions available in sql server what are all the versions available in sql server versions can anybody tell me here please guys i need your responses otherwise i cannot go go forward response means you guys are listening to me that is why yeah we are listening very yeah, so yeah, yeah. I because i i need some satisfaction right don't mind please i need some satisfaction right my guys are listening mm -hmm. so that i can teach in need of one more thing here is inter question is what is the differences between not only differences what are all the latest enhancement in the latest 2016 or 2017 so if you say these seven words still there are eight words still they are going to expect something else from your mouth do you think they will expect something else they will, they may expect it but you should be ready to manage that interview but here inter question is the lot of lot of and uh, features and enhancements implemented on 2016 and 2017 right so what are all those can you tell me at least two or three that is my interview question i don't know about others i don't know about in australia i never been there but this is about my training and my interview whatever i i'm going to do it in day to day activities i'm going to teach in such a way okay so here features is like till 2014 ssms by default you will get it ssms is a tool management tool to connect your to connect your sql server you can, by using that tool you can operate you can monitor you can manage things like creating database stopping service starting everything you can be done with ssms another feature is linux till 2014 sql is compatible supportable only on windows but from 2016 and 2017 mainly i can say from 2017 2017 version even sql server is compatible on windows even it is compatible on linux as well whichever is compatible for your application please go ahead and use it purchase the license fee from your microsoft <coughs> guys license fee is not that much yeah 2017 linux is most implemented from 2017 okay so Next. Uh, i'm a bit confused here so some such i mean the future mentioned to 2016 and and then 19 so i don't know which resemble to the 17 here what is that here whatever i'm giving it to you even i never been to the 2019 version because 2019 is two months ago it is released even i want to do some uh, next month i think next month i have a meeting with microsoft team regarding this 2019 latest enhancements here main advantage is for developers not for dbas not for dbas oh, that's fine uh, giri so so the, the men the feature you mentioned like 
in front of the 2019 how many of these are available in 17 all are available in 17 but here they fix a lot of bugs lot of bugs and graphics also more increase more increase you can feel the difference between 2070 i mean uh, windows 7 and windows 8 and windows 10 windows 10 is like everything is like graphics are more but in windows 7 graphics are less in 2019 mainly for artificial intelligence mainly for business intelligence mainly for azure I mean those are implemented on you can directly stretch to and backups can directly store to azure azure blob storage blob mm -hmm. that is storage those features are implemented so i don't want to disturb you now maybe if you want another session end of this training maybe after four five weeks i'll teach you this 2019 session because even i want to press up because 2019 is released just it's still in RT, rtm rtm is like it has released to manufacture not still it's month back it is like rtm what do you mean by rtm release to manufacture manufacture okay i'll extend it extend it okay still there is no sp ones one more thing i forgot you people one more thing i forgot you people every version will be having sp1 and sp2 like that sp1 what what is sp1 even in oracle also i hope you guys agree for this point sp4 what is sp can anybody tell service me pack? yes absolutely you're right service packs okay service packs okay but in 2019 only they still they develop because it's only one sp1 if any any customer is complaining if any customer is complaining like they have some bugs here they have some issues they'll develop and they will release into sp2 and some of the new features also they'll release into sp2 again if someone is complained on some of the bugs i cannot able to uh, automatic fixing this index issues i cannot able to run agent service kind of okay so if you have any issues they will implement they'll fix it in sp3 they'll release sp3 into the market i hope you know the difference between sps service packs okay every day cumulative updates every day patchings so they are implementing new 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 features competition in outside competition between yeah. oracle competition between microsoft competition between uh, mongodb mysql postgres right there are a lot of competition they are really yeah uh, giri uh, can i ask a question yes please go ahead what is there in it yeah so for new release like sp how, how we uh, do we need to apply the new patches or absolutely absolutely so okay so maybe, does so, that patch require the outage absolutely absolutely so i'll ask this question in the end of our training please note it somewhere in whatsapp or somewhere without downtime there are availability why every guy is implementing so why microsoft is giving log shipping mirroring clustering high availability replication why why do you think they are giving these many options one option is made pretty enough right why they are giving these many options for us these many technologies for us because in few technologies without downtime you can apply patchings but in few technologies downtime is mandatory you cannot do anything with that that is why for example log shipping log shipping is cost is very less lightweight process you don't need to invest much cost and performance also will be good but data loss will be in log shipping if you want to do any patchings downtime is required automatic failure is not there manual failure is also not there you require a downtime but if you go to clustering its cost is effective for your project cost is effective you need to invest money on it clustering cluster means for you will not be getting not normal price clustering means you require three sql server license keys three windows license keys you require how much hard disk how much investment you are doing it but without downtime you can do everything in cluster everything in cluster how much you are investing that much features you will get it so uh, maybe it is the out, maybe it's the out of the context like uh, like for example uh, so what is the upgrade path for example can i is it possible to upgrade from 2008 to 2017 yes absolutely i'm going to show it to you after one hour not one hour maybe less than one hour i'll show it to you there's an option by using setup file you can 
upgradations also there are two types oh i don't want to uh, i don't want to interrupt this i don't want to interrupt this i'll save this so upgradations mm -hmm. also we have two types one is side by side in place upgradation uh, i thought this one i need to discuss with you in the next coming sessions it's okay i mean we can do it later then yeah because i uh, have everything not... is step by step process but yeah we will we'll not but you uh, know very well you guys know very well about databases migrations patching upgradations you guys already did it in oracle no no i just know... want so i just you want have... the short short answer like is it possible to upgrade from any version or there yes absolutely there, there, there is an option it is available there is an option you, you can do it okay so you mean it even from 2000 to 2019 we can go yeah you can go that i'll teach you i'll teach you side by side this one is side by side hey, you can go that's not a problem but you required 2019 license key without license key you cannot go yeah that's fine i mean uh, you need to your sure cfo will take care of it your accountant your procurement your finance team every company will be having accountant team every company will mm -hmm. be having finance team without that you will not be called it as a company if you go and take one one bhk cows if you keep it something everything there there also one guy will be taking care of accountants there also one guy will be okay. taking care of your finance they will take care of this prices and all <clears throat> you need to provide them okay, with uh, the cost and everything okay can you go back to the other slide yes please okay so uh, another thing is like uh, starting from 2000 2000 to 2019 there are multiple version right yes so tell me one thing i mean how we control like, how we implement our growth resource restrictions growth resource restrictions for example i have one ms sql machine uh -huh. right and then we have like 10 database running on each machine mm -hmm. i want one database have higher resources than the other nine mm -hmm. so is it possible to implement in this or where it is possible it possible so that's all up to you and your windows team decision for example you mean to say like i have one ms sql server in this you have some couple of databases now you have yeah. another uh, sql servers also now you need to make you need to use this database in other server or how it is no no so the query is like i have one machine mm -hmm. right and it got some resource like 10 cpu and like 32 gb of memory yes now i want that uh, what i understood like each database on that machine mm -hmm. compete for the resources right for cpu or ram depending on the load yes right so i want that one of the database is highly critical okay. so i always want that 50% of the memory will be reserved for that database so is it uh, database is it possible to yeah yeah i understand for example uh, what i understand let me correct if i am wrong what you mean to say that what you mean to say that you have one server one sql box one sql box in this you have some 10 cpu processors 10 yeah. some processors and you have some 32 gb ram 32 gb yeah. ram in this you have 10 databases on an average 10 db yeah. you have in that one yeah. one one database is highly loadable like your application always read and write will be performing this database you can yeah. like you your question is like can i assign minimum and maximum memory for this particular database that is what your question is can yeah. i assign uh, four cpus four processors four processors for this database yeah. like this your question right in sql yeah, server I mean in sql server you cannot assign memory specifically for one database but but one thing you can do is server level you can configure server level means what do you mean by server level this is one server okay here is another server here is another server sql server here is another server now uh, what i'm going to do is this is sql sql server 1 sql server 1 okay this is sql server 2 This is SQL Server two. This is SQL Server three. You understand? This is three. This is four. Okay. Now this is an entire reason one Windows mission. Entire reason one Windows mission. This is Windows Windows Server. Let me let me correct your answer. So this is Windows Server. Windows Server. Now Windows Server has uh, almost uh, some sixteen processors, sixteen processor and sixty four GB RAM, sixty four GB RAM. 
now what you can do is what you can do is you can assign some 10 gb ram for this for this particular box 10 gb ram for this uh, 20 gb just imagine this is most critical for you this server is most critical 20 gb for this some 15 gb for this some 10 gb like this you can assign for this 10 gb even for process also you can assign like this is it making sense did they answer the answer to your question yeah so i mean it doesn't make sense in a way that you know i have it means i need to install the same software on different home right what is that so software is same right and yeah, it's running on the same, same but, machine but in oracle if you compare there and here this is different in oracle you can assign i, I believe you can assign database level you can uh, set for me i mean memory and processors right that's me if i'm wrong mm -hmm. database levels yeah. you can set but in sql server microsoft did not give you that option even up to the latest version no because there is a difference between there is a difference between oracle and sql oracle you will be having only one database you will you will be having thousands of tables but in one rack you'll be having thousand tables but those tables we will call it as a databases in sql server those tables we will call it as a databases in sql server in everywhere wherever you go in one server in one server we will be having 100 dbs on an average of not 100 maybe some more than 30 or 40 30 or 40 dbs dbs means databases in one server so one database is for one application one database is for another application one database is for another application like that that is different this is different in oracle only one database 90 percent i think i'm not sure i'm not pretty sure but as per i see my friend is working next to me he's sitting next to me in my office he's also working for oracle so he always uh, has my database goes down my database goes down my database goes down what do you mean by database in oracle database means it's a server but in ms sql server database means it's kind of similar kind of on table in oracle feel the difference please here server goes down means all the databases will be goes down if one server goes down here means okay one server goes down means all the all the databases will be goes down that's it where these databases are all existed in one box the box name is called a sql server feel the difference about microsoft sql server because this schema is different this structure is different oracle is different okay so get it send uh, it's come to the another question then uh, can i install a different version on same machine absolutely okay so i have 2015 and 2017 running on the same windows yes. machine yes but while installing if it is running out of any some issue your windows team needs to be ready to fix that issue some op some mm -hmm. operating systems will not allow so if something like already their memory schema their catchy memory uh, there is drivers will be installed automatically with the older edition and version so it may be running some issues your windows team ready to fix that issue you can install answer to your question is yes you can go ahead and you can install it okay. there is no restrictions okay. in sql server you can only one restriction mm -hmm. is your windows windows operating system ready to uh, capable to capable to handle that load Two servers means it's not a simple load, right? Your server needs to be ready to handle that load and also you require two license keys. Where you will go and get mm -hmm. license keys, you need, you should, you will, your team will be already having uh, subscriptions, Microsoft subscriptions, MSDN, sorry, MSDN subscription. MSDN subscription. Okay. Your CFO team, your accountant team, your finance team will take care of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. You should be having subscription. So, uh, their license works on the core basis or on the memory? Yes, yes. So, license is like per core. Per core means now I have one license key. If I give that license key to you, I cannot use that license key in my machine. One license key is only for one operating system. If you want, you have that license keys. Like, you can purchase one license key for uh, 1000 laptops or 1000 computers. You can purchase from Microsoft. Their license keys depend on the processors only. 
uh, SQL license uh, license keys on core core based core two. Okay, just search in Google. I'll show it to you. License keys. Okay, pricing and license keys. You will get to know. I mean, they'll clearly mention how many core processes you have: two, four, six, eight, or twelve. How many computers you want? What is this? No, what? No one try no. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll scroll down. Okay, I'll go here. Okay. Can you see here? Enterprise. This is one. One. One is enterprise. Other one is standard. Okay. Now you can see core based. Core based. Which core you want? Whether two, four, or five. Everything is core based. Can you mm -hmm. see introduction to per core license key and basic definitions? You can click on it and you can go and use that. And also, okay. while purchasing license key, you need to mention whether Windows or Linux. Mm -hmm. Even in 2019, container and Docker also they implemented. The containers and Docker's is mainly on cloud based. Even if you have oh, yeah. if you have a Docker and containers in your on premises. Yes, you can purchase a license key which is compatible for Docker and container. This is one of the beautiful feature available in 2019. That is also one of the beautiful feature. I did not mention that. Don't never mind about it. You just need to understand that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this and, is about. Uh, yes, please go ahead. Uh, so oh, I, I guess there should be some tool to migrate from other. Other technologies like Oracle to MS SQL. Yes. So replication. Replication is. So are are those are paid one or Microsoft absolutely, charge for Absolutely, absolutely. Microsoft will charge because whatever the service they are going to, it is like one simple model is there here. What is that model? Pay as you go. It is a pay cycle model. If you wanted to use that feature, please pay it. Purchase the feature. Use it. Yeah. It okay, is like mostly... it is like similar kind of prepaid. Prepaid means what do you mean by prepaid? First, I need to purchase that. I need to purchase that pack, whatever like unlimited calls or facilities. Then only I can use it. It is like prepaid. Mm -hmm. But in cloud, it is called as postpaid. Whatever the feature you wanted, whatever the service you wanted, use it at the month end, pay the amount, whatever the you use it. But on premises is like always is like prepaid only. You need to pay first. You need to purchase that. Hardware, software, and then you sh you need to use that. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. So let me open installation now. So one more thing here is called as editions and uh, one more thing, guys. In few places, I want to concentrate much on theory part. Otherwise, nothing will be in your mind. If I if I don't want to teach you in theoretical, nothing will be in your mind. See now. How much we are spending time on this? Because most important for DBA. So if yeah. you ask me, Giri, I don't want theoretical. Directly go ahead and implement practical. It's no point in trying. Hundred percent, I'm pretty sure. Because in some cases, please keep it in mind. In some cases, theoreticals are most important. In some cases, in some sections and modules, practicals are more more important. Okay. In practicals, I cannot show it to you all this. Nobody can show it to you because. I cannot purchase 2008, 2005, 2012, 2014, 16, 17, 19. Nobody can purchase these many license keys, right? You know how much cost one license key also? Yeah, yeah, that's understandable. Okay. So in some cases, in some cases, theoreticals are most makes more sense to you. In some cases, practicals are most most you know practical. Now let me go and install SQL Server. Installation soft. SQL Server. Now, so far I covered four inter four to five interview questions. Now, next one is, what are all the prerequisites to inst install SQL Server? Guys, never mind if my spelling is not correct. Please, where is my first friend uh, Khan? Khan is uh, silent today. Khan, what happened? Silent? No, no, it's no. Not, I'm <laughs> He is just watching everything. I don't feel like like this is like cinema. It was like now our our uh, initial days only in the basic till module five theory, theory is more 
after module 6 there is no much theoretical only practical okay what are all the prerequisites this is entire question guys what are all the prerequisites to install sql server even what are all the prerequisites to install oracle if you if you know you please tell me no problem if you know it then it's good if you don't know i'll tell you no problem from no you can continue yeah yeah okay from the microsoft perspective there should be we require one machine yes with the os dependent os running absolutely on machine, depending absolutely. on the version yes and so here we do, we do normally we do have two types of requirements uh, one is like system requirement other one is like uh, mainly client normally we will call it as either hardware or uh, kind of hardware or like mainly client side requirement okay so first one is call it as let me tell you you are right uh, raja one is windows mission that one contains ram hard disk I'll mention is shortcut, hard disk. Next one is processor. This is CPU processor. Core, core processor. Now every SQL product is compatible on everything. You have to, this one will take care of Windows team. Windows team will be taking care of it. Okay. Next one is core processor, hard disk. Yeah. Login. Login should be having admin level access guys please remember windows login this one is windows login admin should be admin access without admin access you cannot install sql mission you cannot troubleshoot anything on a, on on your uh, what is that called as database perspective i'm talking about okay processor uh, next one is call it as uh, memory i tell you Avail, uh, available disk space that is called as hard disk and network what do you mean by network it's a virtual private network normally we will call we can call it as virtual private but network i'll mention it network you required now let's talk about sql level setup file which setup file sql dot exe executable file exe or e exe is it next one is license key sql license key guys are you understanding db level db level data and log file locations these are all interview questions okay what are all the prerequisites to install sql server so if you want to go with the Linux, you require Linux oriented settings and configurations. If you go, if you want to go with Windows, this is a little complicated. Normally, in every kind of operating system, any kind of software, prerequisites or requirements, mostly will be having hardware requirement or software requirement. Normally, we can call it as hardware and software requirement. I mentioned here a couple of points and I listed out the whatever i knows about it whatever we required to know and one more thing i forgot is dot net dot net framework without dot net framework i'll mention this uh, framework okay i'll mention it before. okay 3.5 more than that it should be basic one is 3.5 it is definitely required without dot net framework you cannot install sql server please keep it in mind without dot net without dot net framework you cannot install now here hard disk means including drivers what do you mean by drivers c drive d drive e drive f drive okay now to monitor windows you require monitor also without monitor nothing will be possible monitoring also is required so do you think in interview still they are expecting few more from your mouth in interview if they ask you what are all the prerequisites if you say 10 words is it enough or still they are expecting they, they will expect more no for for uh, respective versions they might be uh, like 
the minimum core requirements or minimum requirement memory so requirements minimum, so yeah more. minimum requirement they will ask you this is more enough if anything else later i'll mention you okay. if anything is i'm missing if anything i'm missing i'll tell you later on no problem at all i mentioned 10 points here uh, so these 10 points are most more enough guys so later later okay. so here one more thing one more thing normally one more thing one more inter question is pre installation checklist pre installation checklist checklist and post installation checklist pre means before installation post means after installation normally we can call it as verification or double checking whether server is installed properly or not okay oh sorry okay so let me stick it this point here before installation what you need to do you need to define data base mdf and ld ldf sorry ndf and ldf file locations before installation so you require this where you want to store your mdf and ldf every database will be having two files that is one thing another one is called it as minimum memory and maximum memory later also you can do but initially we wa we want to know about this next temp db location temp db location guys keep it in mind always temp db should be in different drive separately there should be a disk for temp db do you know what is the purpose of temp db i don't want to teach you now i'll teach you when that that module comes up i am pretty sure system user level uh, what is it called as user database can you see user databases temp db is a user database i'll teach you when this this, uh, this module will comes if i teach you everything now there is nothing to teach in that particular module okay temp db should be in different location keep it in mind why and where, what is the purpose i'll tell you later when that module comes up okay uh, next one is called it as uh what is it called it like, or uh, the system db's location so every server will be having system level databases user level databases the next thing is it called it as come on these are the most important your yeah, login windows login i need to add it add okay now sys what is it called a server server admin yes say it's there in uh, sa sa account is there sa login is there in oracle also right yes say 61 is server services startups service start up modes either automatic or manual manual next one is service generic account normally generic account generic account okay now these are the most important this is the pre installation checklist okay now i'm going to teach you about post installation checklist okay post installation after installing sql server what you need to do what you need to do your as a database administrator i'm going to draw it here check check whether sql is installed or not okay there is a summary summary file location you need to find that location okay next one is guys one more beautiful thing is i forgot to mention you here i'll mention you here uh check check services are up or not okay check services which services sql services okay uh now next one is check automatic automatic enabled or not now now raja asked one question 
minimum slash max memory for each mission, for each SQL, for each SQL. These are all inter equations, guys. What I'm telling you, what is the pre-installation checklist? What are all the post-installation checklist? These are all you need to explain them. So try to understand what I'm trying to tell you. Now, double check features installed or not. Okay, this is more enough, etc. etc. If anything is missing, later I'll tell you. Here I, I missed one thing and I'm going to tell you what is that now. Which feature you want to tell, which feature you want to install that you need to know, right? Eighth point. Which features features you need to install? Guys, it is, is it making sense? Which feature? Feature means what do you mean by log shipping, log ship replication whether you want integration service i uh, yes i will i'll mention as integration service replication service i mentioned next one is database engine database shortcut i'm mentioning if you want full form i'll mention later also you want full form or shortcuts is yes, means integration service d means database engine service as analysis service etc etc this also one point without this while installing you cannot go on Ask your team people, your production or your manager. These are the most important. These are all the most important guys. Please keep it in mind. These are all inter questions. Three questions are like one is, what are all the prerequisites to install SQL Server? What are all the pre-installation checklist? What are all the post-installation checklist? Okay, these things are most important. I'll mention as prerequisites. Prerequisites. Pre and post, post of installation, SQL installation. Okay, that's it. Fine. So let me start my installation. Guys, do you have any questions so far here? Uh, yes, Giri Khan here. Yes, Khan. So please go ahead. So, so I understand. Like on a general level, you provided this, but okay. think about a situation like when we have a AG installation. I mean, always on. So uh, it depends. Uh, there should be like a machine residing on different data centers. So I believe they would have like access to the different storage as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. Always, always on means uh, just one minute, please. Always on means normally what one minute I'll spend here. This is primary replica. This is secondary replica. Now your storage will be sitting in somewhere outside of the domain, somewhere. Now just imagine. This is in uh, Sydney, okay, Sydney. Now just imagine this is in India. This is in India. In always on, this is primary replica, primary replica, okay. This one is secondary replica. In always on, secondary replica. So now your store is sitting here. Your store is sitting in some other location. It might be in uh, Chicago or somewhere, US or any Canada somewhere. It is sitting. So I'm always mentioning one generic login ID. Generic login ID. So this ID will be given to you from Windows team. Windows team and our infrastructure team will give you this login ID. This login ID will be having full access. Full access. So you can create it or you can drop it anything on this mission. You can do it anything on the secondary replica. On the same wide, you can do multiple activities on primary replica. There is no access issue, issues at all. So might be yeah. this is one availability zone. No, no. Uh, so uh, my question was like the storage, right? So it, does this mean that the primary replica in Sydney would have separate storage than the secondary replica in India? I think better. We, we you can ask me this question in always on section. If I if I explain you, our flow will get disturbed because you are asking always on always on. So always on is some other module we do have, right? So my personal recommendation is if you ask me during always on, then that would be a good, I think so. What do you think? Anna? Okay, it's all right. It's all right. I mean, uh, since we are discussing the installation, so that also Yeah, installations, some, yeah, yes, that, that, time, uh, that time we will do. But definitely if you want to answer, definitely I'll answer, answer it to you. Yes, the storage is like for always on different storage, for clustering different storage, for log shipping different, different kind of storage. For log shipping, 
log shipping, you can keep the storage in your local machine also, no issues. You can keep this in your local machine also. Local machine means your primary replica. For log shipping, you can keep it. But for always on and cluster, okay, so, for always on cluster, always recommendable to keep storage in different location. Okay, because, so, because one more thing, yeah, sorry to interrupt you, one more thing. So storage, why we are keeping, why we are implementing disaster recovery and logs, uh, high availability. If something is goes wrong with your uh, active availability zone or active directory or domain, then your application should not be go to the outage. It should be, you, you are maintaining another server to maintain your application, right? It is like stable. Another server is ready to take care of your application. The server will be is in, in some other location. The storage always yeah, but best recommend is to keep it in separate. Yes, please go ahead now. Yeah, from this screen, I mean, uh, it's a bit confusing actually. So it 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 looks like the both replicas have strange storage. But think about a situation when the storage was the issue. It means there is no red redundancy for that. There is cluster. Yes. If storage goes off, even storage level also, Windows team, they are replicating from this storage. What they are doing is, even do you think Windows team also, they are doing that much less work, even they are keeping. So this is one set of storage. This is one, one set of storage file. They are replicating this and they're keeping it in some other region. Every transaction, whatever it is storing from coming from storage to is going and sitting in some other region also. If something goes wrong with your storage, Oh, sorry. Something goes wrong with your storage. Something is wrong with your storage. Even Windows team and infrastructure team is ready, ready with, with their standby storage capacity. You are implementing log shipping, mirroring, clustering, always on for disaster recovery, high availability. Even Windows team also, they have their own concepts, right? Mm -hmm. Storage, you will not, it's not your responsibility. Maintaining storage is not your responsibility. You are the DBA guy. So who will maintain about it? Windows team will maintain about it. If you are a lucky guy, if you are working on both the technologies, on the database and Windows, yes. There is an option called as disk replication, storage replication. For that, I am working on both the technologies, cloud infrastructure, on-premises infrastructure, databases level. I'm working on multiple technologies. So I know how I can replicate from one resource to another resource, from one region to another region, from one availability zone to another availability zone, from one domain to another domain. I'm using one tool, the tool call it as data keeper. If you search in Google about this tool, you will get to know. This tool, what it do is, even every transaction, whatever it is coming, hitting storage, this data keeper tool, it is replicating it is replicating my storage to another region. This storage is like standby. Your project needs to be ready to investment on. Just imagine if the storage is 10 terabyte or at least make it one terabyte. I don't want to make you confused. One terabyte, you have to pay this one terabyte again. For this terabyte also, same capacity, right? Here, whatever it is there also, it will be same. So what you need to do, you need to investment on your project is in investment on for license key of Windows. Point one is Windows license key. Point two is SQL license key. Point three is again here license key. Again here license key. SQL license key. Again here storage. Point five. Here again storage. Point six. Here one tool. Point seven. How much they are investing? Can you see? Can you just, just at least some idea? Can you figure it out how much they are investing on it? Yes. If it is a banking project, if it is a financial project, projects are never mind about investing, but they need 0% tolerance, 0% call for, I mean 100% high availability, 0% data loss. 100% high availability, 0% Okay, Kiri, so, uh, so for example, if I compare with Oracle, so Oracle machine can be like, you know, we got memory like 1.5 terabyte. Uh -huh database machine which can okay. be allocated to different uh, component within the database like SGA, PG and other memory yes. structures. So in Microsoft SQL Server, uh -huh. what is the limit for that? Can I have like I can have a machine, Windows machine with one terabyte of memory? Yeah, you can have that memory means here memory means you need to keep it in mind. 
two memories are there. One is ROM, other one is RAM. Which memory you are talking about? RAM or ROM? ROM means I'm random. talking about RAM actually. RAM. So in Windows, yes. Windows one terabyte is very difficult to keep it. One terabyte cost is more than million trillion crore dollars. So here RAM means maximum sixty four GB or one uh, like hundred GB. Hardly so far I have seen in my project only some four hundred GB RAM. That's it. More than that, you don't need really required in my current project. So what if in my current what project? What if my app? What if my application requires somewhere around two hundred GB of? Go ahead and implement. RAM. Go and go ahead and purchase from Microsoft. What is the problem for you? Go ahead and purchase from Microsoft. No, that's. I mean, I can purchase license from the. Yes. Microsoft, but my yes. application requirement. But you are saying that the limit of sixty-four GB for the. Microsoft this is not Microsoft. limited. RAM and hard disk is unlimited. Unlimited guys. RAM and uh, hard disk is unlimited. Whatever you require, you can utilize it. But my suggestion is like even if you have crore users also, even if you have thirty, forty applications also, like hundred GB RAM is more enough. More enough. That is what my personal intention. If you want it, go ahead and utilize hundred GB RAM. But hard disk is different. Hard disk is different and RAM is different. Don't don't get compare here. Hard disk, yes. Five no, no, I, we are not confusing with the storage with the RAM, but so uh, uh, one one thing I would like to tell you: whatever you want, you, you can utilize. There is no limit here. Unlimited. Everything is unlimited here. Okay, so uh, uh, let me put my question another way. Like you know, uh, is it possible to scale my application on different machine? On yeah. Considering it's a it's the part of same replica. Yes. So I have five different nodes of one replica. Is it possible? Yes, that is what I told you. Thirty-two implemented, right? That is. I, I hope you remember. I uh, informed that also somewhere else. Thirty-two option is there here somewhere else. Uh, yeah, here it is. Can you see that point here? I'll just draw and highlight it here. Can you see? Yes, yeah, I got it in 2016. Yeah, yeah, you can. Even in <coughs> older version also they have, but you know some lot of bugs. No, but sixteen is the healthy. Ah, uh, no, no. The question is, are all these thirty-two replica are ready to take a read and write operation? Khan, you are always concentrating on higher ability. Please ask me in higher ability. If I go and say my time will be waste, and your your concentration will be definitely will go off. So normally there are two types of. One is two types of mode. One is synchronization and asynchronization. If you go with synchronization mode in availability group, yes, you can configure insert in one server. That is called as OLTP and OLAP, online transaction processing. That is insert and update, alter, delete. OLAP means analyzing processing. That is only select for this. That is called as load balancing. That is called as load balancing. That is what you are expecting, right? Load no, balancing. I No, no. Please don't get offended. My question was different, actually. No, I don't know why you were asking always on now. No, no, it's not always on actually. Yes, not means what do you mean by notes? Where it will come? No, no. I, I, I just making like my application to be available. You know, my resource to be available for the application. So, application is requiring some more resource, and one machine is not enough to provide that. What should I do as a DBA? Okay, just a minute. Again, again. So I I think better I can cover always on today itself because high availability load balancing is only implemented in high availability of always on or or mirroring. Even log shipping also it's implemented, but that's I thought to cover it in next session. But you are asking now itself. I don't know. So initially, if you are expecting everything as like advanced level, what is uh, this one? Can you just mind about this, please? So this one is one replica. I'll call it as node one. Okay, here it is called as node two. Because flow of things also will get decrease. Because I have these sessions right. Otherwise, tell me if you don't want basic, I'll go ahead directly to the high availability. This is node two. Whatever the transaction is coming here, whatever the transaction is coming here. It will replicate. Yeah, Giri, I think so, we'll we'll just go go with the flow uh, in the respective topic. No, Khan no, is expecting only one thing is always on high availability clustering. 
uh, that no, 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 that should man. be fine you're, okay you're, okay i'll tell you i'll tell you wrong. you're getting me wrong uh, kiri khan you're so, asking me about questions about always on khan what is always on no it's not related to always on my well, you're asking problem. about load balancing now load balancing means what is load balancing it is about high availability technologies and disaster recovery right so now your sql server is there here maybe ma- ma- mahmud we can uh, sorry giri mahmud we will we'll just put the, this questions in the always on uh, topic yeah, right yeah that is what we'll my intention is you, you yeah, ask we'll me you can like whatever can, the whatever expect. yeah so what i'm trying to say is our flow will reduce so i thought to cover today installation also on installation also i thought to cover but you are asking advanced level questions i mean yes i'll cover it because i don't want to make you uh trouble this is application now here voldp for example now yes you can perform something so data is replicating here right from primary to secondary now what you can do is if you want it you can perform insert and update here insert and update you can perform here your application will go and read right from this node one and again if you want to do something Yes, you can do it from this server also. No problem at all. Okay. One more thing I would like to tell you. In SQL Server, there are two SQL Servers. One is standalone, standalone. Other one is cluster based. While installing, I thought to tell you this point. In standalone, in standalone, if you want load balancing, either load balancing or something few few transactions. Like I'll write it here. few transactions insert delete alter or update something will be done from this server this server now if you want something like backup or copy something like you know select queries something views okay views something sp store procedures sp store procedures store proc yes you can perform from this server but when this can be done when this can be done how the data is replicating here can anybody tell me please how the data is replicating from here to here because you need to implement high availability and disaster recovery technologies without implementing nothing can be possible nothing can be possible right the same data needs to be here the same data needs to be replicated here then only user will get 100% consistency accurate data is it making sense yes yes without implementing high availability disaster recovery data will not be replicating from one server to another server for surely i'm saying it without implementing high availability you will not get that you will not get that data if you have any questions for high availability and uh, regarding load balancing but my personal suggestion is my personal recommendation if you want it i'll cover it but your flow will decrease and your time duration of training will go so long It, it's okay, Giri. I mean, uh, if I would have been your place, I would have told that the always on is your answer. So that that would satisfy me actually. So it's okay. You explain. Thank you for that. Okay, but again, I'm saying right. If I say uh, it, my I'm here to teach you. Like, if, for example, I don't want to invest any one rupee. I want one product. i need to go from one place to another place then i'll you you are expecting only cycle is the best answer but i am here to teach cycle is this is the gear this is the clutch this is the tire this is the uh, what is the chain called i i thought like that i am teaching here if you want only small answers yes i am ready i don't know what you are expecting right i don't know what you are expecting in my entire panel how you will implement always on that is my question to the candidate i want in depth then only i can i i will get full confident to hire that guy No, no. We'll go with the flow, but since some questions are related to each other, so I then just yes, always on. Always on is there. Always on is there. Yeah. Clustering is there. Yeah. Mirroring is there. Yeah. Even log okay, screen also uh, you can go ahead. Uh, one thing here. Uh, since we are doing this for one and a half hour, uh, uh, can we take uh, some break, like ten, fifteen minutes? Is, yes, absolutely. That's all. I love it. I love it. Yeah, but so one thing, better, you know? no. One thing I would like to answer you is. to answer to your question is log shipping is there mirroring is there replication is there always in is there clustering is there all five guys can handle the load balancing but there mm-hmm. are terms and conditions 
Yeah, we'll come to those questions when we yeah when we'll come to this one. Yeah. Okay. Post post okay. Uh, this break. I'm directly go ahead and I'm gonna teach you today installations of SQL Server and uninstallation also if you want it. I'll teach you how to do it because in real time project you may get that kind of work. So what my intention is, what my intention is every day, three four hours we are going to have it right. Yeah, we will take some 10 to 15 minutes break. Then only it's good for you people. You cannot concentrate yeah. fully. You cannot keep your mind fully on this uh, training. Right? So take 10 to 15 okay. minutes. That's not issue. This is, we are not in the school. Okay. Okay. We then the then uh, okay. Then rejoin. I will continue at 11. Right. Your time. Uh, so 20 minutes break. Yeah, that's fine. No problem for me. Okay. That's works for me. So today I thought to cover. I thought to cover because again why I thought to use. You were expecting little fast. So normally. Normally, every day one module I thought to finish it, but you guys have some other you know schedules, your office schedules, your personal schedules. You are expecting little bit, so I thought to cover today module one and module two. So prerequisites I already covered it. I'll mark it as yellow. Can I mark it prerequisites yellow? Installation. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can I mark this as yellow? Different types of versions and editions. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And post installation verification sessions, I'll show you demo. Theoretically, I covered it. I'll show you demo. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, Raja asked how we can upgrade from lower to higher. So here is the module. I'll teach everything. Don't worry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Yeah. See you. Take care. And uh, 20 minutes after 11 o'clock. Uh, thank you. And again, one more thing we uh, need yeah. to keep it in mind. One more thing we, we need to keep it in mind. Some 10 to 20 minutes delay will be either from your side or from my side. We need to adjust accordingly. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. If you agree to do this point, then only I'll continue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Because we are not in school. When the bell is ringing, we have to go and sit in the school. These are not like that. We have to adjust like that. Then only the mm -hmm. the training will be in such a mutually understanding. That is how it will go. So. Mm -hmm. okay. Don't think that nine is completed already. Still, grid did not join. Nine is already completed. Khan did not join. Nine is already completed. Raja did not join. I never mind about if you join after 20, 30 minutes also. I can wait. That's not a problem for me. But if you don't want class, please inform me one day before itself. That is what only I'm expecting from you people. If you have some other any other schedules, like you have to you have to go for some uh, mutual some work in your project, some work in your personal life, you have uh, your brother marriage or something, keep me informed one day before itself. That is fine for me. Okay, Giri. Okay, we'll keep okay. in mind. That's fine. Thank you. So take us a 20 time. minutes, 20 minutes break. And come up with a lot of questions, but that question should be what are we are discussing? Don't ask me, teacher. Like, like okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't mind, you. guys. Don't mind because uh, step by step we'll go. That is the best practices. That is the teaching good it will be. Okay, step by step we'll go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Take break. Okay. <laughs>